Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I want to give you news of a new product that I've been using for a while now which has exceeded all my expectations and you can't often say that about a product and I first came across it when I was looking to renew these garage doors and rather than using the tongue and groove pine with all the inherent problems that you get with swelling and shrinkage and trying to keep the paint on, I thought I'd research and try and find something that would be a little bit better. And what I came across was MDF. Now you're thinking, hang on, MDF on garage doors, exterior, that's not on. But this is MDF with a difference. It's called Tricoya and it's a very highly durable product. In fact, it can be used underground. It doesn't swell, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't warp. It just is incredibly dimensionally stable. Before I embarked on using it on some projects that mattered, I made a few garden planters with my mate Robin Clever from UKConstruction.com. And we put those garden planters out to test. We left them out there for a year, filled with earth, and they took all the moisture and everything else without any kind of distortion or swelling. So with that evidence, we were pretty sure that we were onto something. So with this garage door, all I did is took a sheet of tricoya and put some route lines in there to make it look like tongue and groove pine and screwed the sheet on. And I've used saddling paint on this, a couple of coats of water-based saddling, and it's absolutely fine. It stayed on there, it hasn't peeled, it hasn't flaked, and it's had the sun and the rain on it. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think tricoya is going to have a big impact as soon as people start to find out about it. Now, of course, it's not cheap. It costs around 100 quid a sheet, which is a lot for MDF, but it's not a lot if you think about what it does and the fact that I don't even know of any other product out there that can do the job that Tricoya does. And if you see the variety of products that it's now being used on and the variety of projects it's now been used in, you can see that it really has got a lot of potential. So if you're looking for something that's waterproof, rockproof, can withstand all the ravages of the British winter or whatever, Tricoya may be it. So it's so your first time using it, uh, what's your impression? It's really solid, it seems to be really really um, tight grain, it's not furring up, it's cutting really hard, you can see this is a new blade but you can just see you know how solid it is because it's generating a little bit of heat as I'm cutting through it got a real good ring to it, it's really solid. I can see why it's waterproof. How does it compare to when you use an ordinary MDF? Um, it's not dissimilar, it cuts similar to the moisture resistant stuff, but what it does feel like, it feels like I'm cutting through a thicker sheet, so it's, yeah. it just feels a lot harder. Yeah, I mean, I'm quite confident about it. I mean, I was and a bit- And it's not hairy, is it? it no, is... I mean, it's, um, it's really smooth, actually. Be interesting to see whether or not, when I put some paint on it, how much that furs up. No, it's, it's, it's good stuff. So what you're going to do now, you're going to... Chop chop these up. Yeah. A couple more long rips, then we're going to mould some with a router and see how it sort of um, shapes up to, to normal. So that would be quite telling when you use the router because... Yeah, ba basically um, MDF, I mean, even with really good tungsten carbide cutters, they, it tends to fur up. It kind of, you get some vibration through it and it furs up. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. So that's it, that's Tricoya for you, and I hope you found that interesting and useful. It's certainly a product that I'll be using a lot more in the future.